Ladies, welcome as I get locked out my own house. I have got such a treat for all of us tonight because inside the house I've got the lovely Danielle Shine and we're going to talk about skincare that you can make in your own kitchen and we're going to make some. So welcome to Trinity. <laughs> And behind the camera today, <laughs> we're going to be in the bath with me, is uh, Chloe. Yes, uh, hi. Say hello, Chloe. Hi. And um, Chloe <laughs> and Victoria here to answer questions. So Chloe's going to film us for a bit and, and Victoria's going to answer all your questions because you're going to have so many questions for Danielle. But I'm just going to start off. This is Trini Land and I just want to show you because there might be some of you watching. These are, this is my wall of Facebook ladies who so far have taken part in the project and they're looking gorgeous and I'm so excited by what's going to be coming in September and everything in this room is slightly to do with that so I can't show you too much of the room but um, anyway it all happens here and let's go into the kitchen I mean Danielle when I met and we've only met once mm -hmm. but I kind of felt I I felt I knew you for a long time we go way back we go way back but because also Danielle's Australian and Australians are one of my favorite people and there's lots of people from Australia who follow us on Facebook and be watching Yay. this no, they'll be watching oh, no, they'll tomorrow be watching morning. morning hi mom, <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> and uh, and I kind of you know was drawn to your sunny disposition but I know that the way that that how you've got to being this mm -hmm. food chef, which encapsulates everything you put in and on your body, mm -hmm. was from a journey of hitting a rock bottom. And yeah. I have lots of women who always talk about, we talk a ton about our gut and bloatedness and all this kind of stuff. And I know you have, but, but tell me, when did you make that change and what made you decide actually to totally change? Because it's a tough decision to make. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I always thought I was healthy too. So it wasn't like a huge change for me, but in 2014, I almost died. So that was like the clincher for me. I woke up, I had terrible issues with my gut for so many years. I lost way too much weight, but it was never self-induced. Yeah. And I went down the modern medicine route and it really wasn't helping. Mm -hmm. So I kind of went back to, uh, basics and found a holistic doctor yeah and the weirdest thing I ever did saved my life she basically said to me have you ever tasted tested your poop tasted tested, <laughs> tasted your poop would be tested really your fun. poop no we yeah. do not want to do that tested your poop. I'm hippie but I'm not okay. that hippie all right so testing why your test poop? your poop well that's why I asked her and she why said it was all about finding out what's in your gut like what bacteria is in your gut and that's okay. when I completely went down a total rabbit hole and learned about Probiotics, prebiotics. No, let's go back. What was in your poop? I had no good gut bacteria. So okay. no good bacteria in my poop when I was pooping. I was yeah. only pooping, sorry. Too much information, but you've got to know this stuff. Yeah, we've got to know this stuff. <laughs> you've got to poop at least one once a day. Yeah. Twice optimal, but I wasn't doing that at all. Like you maybe once a week. Off. Like It was terrible. I thought I'm okay. healthy. I'm eating all the right things. Yeah. I never cooked a thing in my life. I would go out and order what I thought was healthy. Or take away. And then I realized when I sort of started educating myself more and learning that actually there's a lot of stuff in the food that I thought yeah. was healthy that wasn't. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I think that for me, when I sit and talk to you, I kind of, I want to worship at the altar of Danielle. And I think to myself, I could never do this, but it's really interesting to listen to it. That's kind of, that's where I sit. But I also aspire to, to, have a way to do it so that it becomes easy because I think yeah. the challenge for most women is it seems kind of so strict and conditional mm -hmm. and what I can't have any refined sugar and what I have is the chocolate mm, yeah. digestive biscuits know, and the and Jaffa cakes hard. and the yeah. nice cup of tea and, and, the, and the coffee and the cappuccino and the vanilla cappuccino well, see, and the feast ice even cream. if I wanted that I couldn't digest it I was rock bottom so could you know yeah I mean if I if I ate that stuff I just don't want to put it in now okay. like this is my body is now a little bit, I've got a lot more respect, respect for it. Okay. So that's probably why I became a natural food chef. I wanted to learn more about food and how to feed myself and feed all the organs that were shutting down because I had serious problems with my liver, okay. my kidneys. I had an autoimmune disease. Okay. Um, and so when it got, got to that point, when you're given antibiotics, for life, or there is a natural way to do it, uh, you're gonna which wasn't promoted to me. That was something I found out myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, medicals all you need to be on this medication, mm -hmm. and there is a time and place for medication. But for me, the side effects of suicidal thoughts and depression, those side effects weren't worth it for me. Yeah. So from I, I just started. I became a health coach. I started studying on the side, okay. and then I kind of got in the kitchen and I would mix some things up and 
started drinking weird things like kombucha and felt good okay. and actually was able to digest food again because I had to start from right at the bottom. Right. So well, I'm, I'm kind of at the bottom. I mean, I, I kind of eat healthy avocados and I eat quinoa and, you know, That's I kind good. of... I, dip into the healthiness and I don't know how many women are watching who feel they dip their toe in but it comes back quickly so <laughs> I think what we can do is we're going to rein in the health for a second ring, right. and we're going to be superficially looking at what we put on our skin but, but then that's again important. that's important that's isn't so it? important because yeah. like the skin is our that's the other thing I did because I found out I did all this hippie testing which is like the stuff that's amazing I really look okay, into we'll it. leave stuff later but like, down for anything you're interested in yes yeah testing of your toxic load and things like that mm -hmm. and your bloodstream I had a huge toxic load and I was a huge fan of all kinds of skincare and I was rubbing everything on and didn't realize that the skin is our largest organ yeah so I'm effectively eating everything I'm putting on and I didn't realize so for me, I got into the kitchen, I was already in the kitchen anyway, yeah. and I had a lot of fun starting mm. to put natural stuff on. I mean, I'm interested in this challenge because I do pursue mm -hmm. the things that I think are fantastic and, mm -hmm. and really have a proper change because yes. the bottom line is that something you buy over the counter could never have a long-term um, change because then it would be under prescription. Mm -hmm. So all the things that I talk about are generally a medium-term change because, the, you know, they superficially you feel better immediately yes, if you have an definitely. exfoliation mm -hmm. and then you know medium term if you kind of keep looking after your skin and doing doing kind of actual yeah. sort of massage and dermal rolling and everything you can do medium and if not long term things but that's yeah. more what you how you move your face about mm -hmm. when my face moves when it's not full of Botox but we won't talk about that toxin. Um, she's let's, beautiful. She's beautiful on screen. She's beautiful close up. But let's now, because this to me is so exciting, Chloe. Come because this, this is fun. like we're in a beautiful <laughs> studio, and you've laid it out in my little kitchen so well. So I had asked you for two different masks. Yes. Um, so the the thing I wondered, and this was the biggest challenge for me, is can one do a kind of enzyme mask? at home something that's going to eat away your dense skin cells and and resurface your skin mm -hmm. so you totally can there's so many different um acid peels you can do at home you can do different intensities as well so for me when i first did my own acid peel i wanted to make it myself because i'm a control freak when yeah. you are looking after your health and i didn't want anything that was too scary or too crazy to begin with so i started with a glycolic acid peel which is what we're going to do tonight yeah but you because can there's different, I mean, a lot of people like a nut-based um, yes. acid or mm -hmm. a milk-based acid yes. or a, you know, different type. So yeah. do you appreciate the different types of acids there are? Because when you talk about cosmetics, we can, you know, Caroline here, I've got, got in on Monday, by the way, um, we'll talk endlessly about different acids and she's incredibly knowledgeable but I'm interested from your perspective of where you'd replace those or how you do them. Well to me the the acids comes from you know fruits and vegetables and there's it's crazy even that there's the oils have certain properties in them that feed our skin and feed our body. Okay. So for me the acids I look at fruit yeah or I look at something like this which is cane this is cane sugar so and is that the basis of glycolic acid yeah, comes from cane sugar yeah it's a derivative of that okay. so basically that is cane juice that's been dried they call it cane crystals and mm. then i've just put that in a coffee blender and blitzed it up where did you buy it i just bought that from the store that's which raw store? organic cane anyway marks and spencers here cane okay, sugar you mean like brown cane sugar. sugar like raw organic cane crystals they call these this is the Really, Should really bad stuff, and we're putting it on our skin. We can put it on our skin because it's got great acid. Just don't put it in. But actually, <laughs> I just but you I... just said that the body is the main organ. No, but here's the thing: raw organic sugar is not so bad for us. And this is the problem: right. we can't, we don't want to cut out all sugar because mm -hmm. our brains run on sugar. Yeah. Our bodies need a bit of sugar. It's the type of sugar. So, white sugar, the devil. Seriously, okay. it's like <laughs> processed. <laughs> Okay. It's chemically treated, it's stripped of all its goodness. So there's no point in that. Yeah. Cane sugar, there's things like date molasses, there's molasses. If you want to keep it organic raw, it's yep. fine. Kind of open the light you know, just yet. add it into food in small amounts because you really we don't need a lot of it. Yeah. And the issue is we've all kind of grown up as kids with lollies that have way too much stuff of the the white the fake stuff sugar, yeah. that hits the same part of our brain that cocaine does, that mm -hmm. can actually stimulate the brain. So we get 
addicted to it mm-hmm. and don't even know. So, you know, if you're coming off sugar, if you're doing something like that, I, you I may feel... I am slightly coming off sugar. I mean, I did a right. week without sugar, but I've had three feasts. And did you feel like when, when you haven't had sugar, you're feeling a bit jittery, you're feeling a bit like... The your first body two days, you feel... I felt quite angry, and I was... You know, the girls could notice I was maybe Detox. perhaps I can a bit <laughs> short-tempered. Um, and um, taxi driver... That's, not, that not, Trini's it's not Trini's fault. That's <laughs> not Trini's um, fault. Let me just say... They might, be sugar. they might actually say, I'm family, I'm coming off sugar. <laughs> but, uh, but I think that it is... I did notice it leaving my body. It's a total yeah. detox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you just got to get over that period, but... I'm not a huge believer for myself because, you know, I've come from rock bottom and I know I used to love, as a kid, I used to love sugar and treats and all that kind of stuff, but it is a process and you have to go slow. So yeah. I wouldn't can say you give me, you've got that. a treat for me and I've got to bring it over here because I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. So let me just start with these because I'm really, I need food before we go yeah, on. Sure. So I would normally at this time have a cup of tea and a chocolate digestion biscuit or um, a frappuccino or what else do I have at this time? But, you know, that probably five o'clockish time. So you've got. Well, I'm glad I came today because these yeah. are just some very. Everyone can make these, and I'll share the recipe if you want me to. These are natural sugar. So the natural sugar in here is the dried, unsulfured, organic apricots. Mm. So that's the natural mm. okay. fruit sugar that gives that sweet flavour. Yeah. Then I've got things like coconut that's oil. Enough. We've got some nut butter in there. So these ones, the apricot ones, okay. my favourite okay, ones. Okay, I'm going to try one of those. Chloe, why don't you try one too? Okay, with Victoria. Try one, yeah, Victoria, yeah. you should try one too. Victoria, you're going to have one. <laughs> and then there's another one in there. So it's just nuts, really wow. good quality oils. Oh my God, that's delicious. There's a, there's a powder mm. there called maca powder, which is very, very good for your hormones. Oh, this is so good. I didn't expect it. So <laughs> I can make this. No sugar. Sure. Of course you can make that. Easily. That takes me like five minutes. So you oh throw it all God. in. Have you got a food processor? on? Yes, I can. You oh, throw it all in. Well. Okay, so tell me quickly on. what's in it. We'll, we'll have the recipe later. So dried, um, so everything's raw organic, so I mm-hmm. won't say that. But mm-hmm. apricots, mm-hmm. coconut oil, mm-hmm. peanut butter, which I made myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's and yeah. you've got dried coconut on the outside and a little bit of flaxseed. And but you it's can, not too dry. No, you know, no. Some of these things are quite dry when you eat them, but this is like... Just put in like a little bit of coconut oil or you know like if you don't want to do coconut oil you can do all sorts of different types of oil like, okay and like we're going to use almond oil on our face okay. but you can put it in food and what's the other one these I need ones the second one. these ones are flax seeds <laughs> flax walnuts seeds. yeah trans- so is this going to help me poop this is going to help you poop these are known these are my famous poop balls in a, <laughs> in a good way in a good way <laughs> But flaxseed kind of helps things move through the body very easily. It's like chia seed, and vegans, I'm a plant based chef, so you can. Like there's date? Yes, yeah. dates mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. So we've got apricots in those ones, dates in this one, and walnuts in that one, which, which is, is coconut unbelievably butter. Unbelievably good. How many of these to have a healthy poop? Um, maybe a couple a day. But I mean, you can have, <laughs> like, you can make them as big as you want. I would take well, one I take of those two with flax seeds it. every day. Do you? Yeah. Two flaxseed capsules. Yeah. She's going to say this no, is a cheaper cheap. way. This is a this much is a cheaper way. Listen, what, I mm. uh, vitamins and things that we take oh, are great. Like I take vitamins as well. But thank you. <laughs> I don't have that. It's amazing. <laughs> I hope you don't. I don't you, do, you don't need to poop. Let me. No. Can we go on to the juice? Of course juice. we can. This is my favorite thing, and this kind of helped heal my gut. So I bought you some because okay. I wanted to wanted you to try. It. It's kombucha. Yeah, you know, I've heard this word, this sexy word thrown it around, and I kind sexy. of run a mile <laughs> from it. No, don't run a mile. This is amazing. So this is a fermented tea drink. So this is like replace any fizzy drink with this carbonated water. Stick with teas because this is fermented tea. So it sounds so disgusting. It is. You it sounds tea. so, di- and you should see how it's made. It's even more disgusting when you look at it. But it tastes amazing. And okay, this 100 good. mils every now and then, mm-hmm. or every day. I started with 100 mils every okay. day when I was really unwell. Do I dilute it? No. I just take it like you this. Just take it like you put this. it in the fridge? You keep it in the fridge. And you want, so you'll see it's a little bit cloudy. Mm-hmm. That is live probiotics. This is better than any kind of, in my opinion. So if, instead of taking a probiotic, you can I have should have this. But also be aware that there are lots of kombucha brands there that kind of put in extra sugars and colors. So okay. you want to go mm-hmm. with so something that's quite legit. Okay. Just this one's a great it. one. This one's a great one. None of it is. They say Liz Earl is always recommending that too. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, it's a, well... And fermented products, so, you know, if you don't want to start with the kombucha, try a little bit of sauerkraut or, you know, some fermented miso paste. I always put miso paste in veggies. And how does it taste? It tastes... It tastes like 
ginger ale is being mixed with pea. Yeah. Mm. That's that, how it tastes. Nice. You've got yeah, the sorry, original. Can I try? Order. I'm just being really honest. <laughs> no, no, this, is, this is true. You, you've got the original, and this comes in passion fruit and ginger. So you can get them that's slightly flavoured with real, but just make sure the ingredients are real. Not that I've got my own pea. But yeah. this is going to be so amazingly potent. You're going to wake up and feel amazing. Tonight. It's not bad. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It's, it's just very refreshing, and you get mm. used to it. But the first time you try it, it's... It's interesting, but I'm standing here as a product of really good natural food and kombucha because that really helped. Okay. It basically builds, helps build the oh my wall. Gut. So we're going to talk about leaky lining. gut in a minute. Can we go back to the skin? Let's go make. Skin. Okay, let's make. Because also, okay. we're on time pass. So okay, we so have got we any have questions got as well as we're doing this. So this is the cane sugar, which cane is being sugar. our glycolic. That's the product. glycolic acid mm -hmm. cut. Mm -hmm. This is our raw honey. I mm -hmm. have used Australian manuka honey. You do not have to do that, but I just only. Why do you put honey in? Because this is the antiviral, antibacterial, just amazingness that you so want. So somebody has skin. spots. That would they be nervous of using this? No, or would it be you good? mustn't be. I was just saying that before. If you have spots, this is great for your spots because this is antiviral, antibacterial. Yeah, because so, manuka, I remember when you have a cup and everything. Brilliant. Yeah. I put it on in New Zealand. Yeah, it's, it's so, so healing. The raw okay. honey's good too. So we've got lemon juice. Why Please the lemon use juice? organic lemons. Though. Okay. Lemon oh. juice is just that acidity. It's going to help emulsify everything. And again, it's actually very alkalizing. Yes, so people I want to get super in the morning. Right, and I so do. That's know. the one thing I know. Yeah. Yeah. Now and you this... can go more than this, but this is the lactic acid part. This is just full fat organic yogurt, which you can. So this should, on a very um, small way, eat away at our dead skin cells. Oh, this is going to eat away. This will definitely eat away at your skin cells, but it won't burn your face. It won't be like scary. Okay. This is like the really nice way to start a glycolic peel and okay. then you, you basically graduate and just add more cane you can actually add cane juice yeah now it's quite thin is that going to dribble on our faces it will you've got to make sure you do a couple of layers okay so just go slowly first okay we're going to take it up the kitchen we're going to take that so, so you've mixed that one up should so we mix up yours? the other one this so, one yeah are there any questions? Are there any questions? Melanie says honey is incredible for the skin and eczema. Yes. Eczema. 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 Perfect. Totally. Is. So I'm going to put honey in mine too. I've got chickpea flour. So you're doing is... a different mask. Yeah, this okay. is a different one. So what's this mask for? So this one is, oh my gosh, what isn't it for? So if you have oily skin, mm -hmm. this is really, really great. Chickpea flour absorbs the oil off your skin. Okay. So it's really good for pimples and actually acne scar. It can help lighten it. Oh, oh my I God. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's, again, lemon juice because I want some alkalizing to it. And I want to help emulsify it with the honey. This is almond oil. And I'll tell you why, because it's so nourishing for our body, yeah. for our skin as well. It acts as a protective barrier. Yeah. Also, because I'm going to add turmeric, which is antiviral, antimicrobial, but I just don't want a yellow face at the end of yeah. this. Yeah, I did remember years ago visiting an IV doctor and yes. he made me ground turmeric and yes. put it on my face. Yes. And I remember my sheets were very yellow in the morning, but he mm -hmm. said it was the best thing for inflammation and yeah. drawing out. Yeah. Because it has curcumin in it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I put a little bit of, you can actually, with these, you can add some essential oils. So okay. if you want a nice smell, like I put a little bit of orange oil with this. Yeah. But, um, but sometimes some people are slightly, you know, there's certain essential oils that do react that can to people. So aggravate the yeah. skin. Yeah. So I know that orange oil is okay for my skin, but I also have super sensitive skin. Okay. So we have two questions. Yes. Elise is asking, does honey has SPF in it? Honey, not that I know of. Almond oil has a little SPF. Mm -hmm. There's actually there's quite a few. There's quite a few oils that have natural SPFs. You can mm. find a lot of information online, but. Red raspberry seed is one of the highest that I know of. Jojoba has a little SPF, um, but we might talk about that upstairs. We are well. going to. Okay. I'm sorry to talk. My mouth was just so good. No, talk in your mouth was fine. Danielle has prepared for us two natural SPFs you can make in your kitchen. One of them is tinted. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> the okay. second question right. was how yes. often should you use these masks? Well, Danielle. I do this probably maybe two, three times a week, but change it up. Like masks, glycolic peel. I mean, if you've never done it before, I'd probably do it maybe once a week with this kind of thing. Add mm. a little bit more cane sugar. Let's go upstairs because we've got to yeah. put it on. We Let's can do continue it. talking. Let's take this one. Mm. Mm. So, okay. Both balls are so good. <laughs> we saw um, it. I need to have four in one minute. Excellent. Unbelievably good. I, I need, to make, them. I need to make them. going to be Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> I'm it really happy for that because that's been a bit of an issue with me the last few days. Well, so. 
Okay, okay. do you need See something for your hair? I've got up. a little hat. You've got something there. Okay, okay. Cool. let's. Uh, the famous bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then Chloe's going to put it up so that we don't have an accident. I'm going to put my hair up. Okay. Does that there. mean fellow tape? Might need a bit of fellow tape. Are you right there? <laughs> yes, we've got a bit of light. Okay, so. We can both look up to Shall here. Put it on, I can look, oh, actually, I'm going to take off my makeup. Do you want me to just quickly show you the oil? Yes. Okay. What's an oil to take off your makeup? Let me clean the screen, sorry. There we go. Okay, so, so come up close this. because people want to see you, darling. All right. This is a makeup remover. This is all natural oils. I will share the recipe. It's just a boring bottle, but I'm going to show you how it takes off makeup. Oh it's my god! Amazing! Oh my god! So it's kind of like you know. Do I you need have, anything to take it off? I just use my fingers okay. and a face wash. All right, come up. You've got to come up. Oh, you wanted um, you wanted flannel. Yeah, if we get a wet flannel, because I'm going to use up. the oil. So tell them what's in it, darling. So we've got red raspberry seed, jojoba, a little bit of shea, and some vitamin E. For some vitamin E, because vitamin E is just so damn good for your skin. Okay. So. I, I mean, you can put it in a pump bottle yeah. or whatever, but yeah. you know, I'm like, I'm pretty freestyling okay. with this. Oh, shit! Oh, see this? What, darling? Set the volume gone low when we turn the camera. So we turn when we turn, turn the camera, the volume oh, went low. Okay. okay, you know what? You're going to film us then. Right. You sit in the bathroom, a bathroom filler. <laughs> Is that better now, the volume? Let me just see. Oh, because you might have turned it down. Exactly. Hold on, ladies. You know what happened in Ladies, hold yeah, on. Yeah, still there. You think it's it like just that? like that? Let's ask them. Ladies, okay. is the volume so. better now? Is the volume better? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then Chloe, you're going to have to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Right. So, so I basically cool. freestyle it, but you can do it a lot better than this. And this is what I'm going to show you. This feels so good, by the way. Oh, my God. Smells good. Smells <laughs> yeah. good. Okay, much so, better, much better. you get the oils. And I know this feels really, like, sounds weird, like rubbing in oil to take makeup off, but I promise you, this is the bomb diggity. It is the bomb diggity. <laughs> so we do this. I like the bomb diggity. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get Chloe to stand outside because I need to have more light. Okay. All right, Hold okay, on. Okay, I'm going to film you meanwhile. I'm going to grab the flannel. And then you hold it on your skin. Yeah. Do you want me to go outside in yeah, the room? Then we'll get more light. Well, I'll hold on here. Okay. <laughs> hold on here. I'm going to film. So, Danielle. Right. Yes. So, basically, you hold it like with a warm flannel. You yep. hold it on. I'm going to show you. Oh, my God. Look at that. There's my face. Yes, there's your face on the flannel. So, I'm going to share and that let me just because see. it's like quite well, Danielle nice. has the most beautiful skin. Chloe, are you all right there? Okay. <laughs> now, can we be high enough? Are we uh, all right like that? Are we all right like that? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to be high up? Okay. <laughs> can you do that? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. This is, this is, what? Is this too low? Oh, it's too low. Okay. Oh, Let me volume. try. Oh, the volume's low again. Yeah. I have a microphone if you want to try it. Yes, please. We're going to try a microphone. Did the volume just go down, ladies? Did the volume just go down? Yeah, everyone's saying volume. Is the volume still down now? Just tell us if the volume's down. Come back in, Chloe. Okay, we just need to know technical difficulties. When do we ever have a show without technical difficulties? Okay, I want to put this mask on. Though. Let me just put your oil on. You want me to fold these then? Yep, but I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is just. No, but you know what? I think you need, the camera that is not working in the one, is the one towards here. So if I, give me a problem. There, it was okay. Okay, how was fine. how is that now, ladies? It's all fine. It's, it's all okay. fine. Good. Yay. Okay, so it could have just been we had our hands over things. I've just broken my machine here, so I'm just going to try and put that back on the on here. Right, and I've got your flannel ready. Thank you so much. Okay, that's there, and then I'm just going to. Oh shit! Hold on, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. Give me a second. <laughs> it's that you know we do have. We are very. I'm highly technical in here. It's highly technical in here. There we go. Let's try that now. And I'm going to put that on there. Now, is it still good sound, ladies? They said it's fine. It's good now. It is Yay. good now? Okay, because I do want you to hear this, because, Danielle, I'm finding so fascinating. And I hope <laughs> you are, too. You really, you're a wealth of knowledge, Danielle, and it comes from a really good place, because you've gone through it yourself. Okay, so... Okay, ladies, I'm nearly there. I think this will hold. All right, I'm going to do that oil quickly. So, the oil Where's the skin? oil? So I'm going to put that so on put here. Put it on your skin, rub it on your face. Rubbing it on my you face. Really rub it in. Oh, I've got lots on. 
Do you want to, what, is that a hot flannel? This is a hot flannel for you. Rub, 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 You know we love a rub. There and we then, go. It smells very nice. It, it's really soft. Very, very nice. And then okay. really hold it over and then rub it off your face. Ooh. Okay, yes. Now I want that peel. Let's Give go. me the peel. So and You right. paint yours on, but just go, like, don't put a big dollop on first. Don't put a big dollop on. So let's both come up and do it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna, are we going to look in the camera? Yeah, of course we are. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm taking it. So I need to stir it up a bit again. Um, so now someone's asking what were the ingredients again? Could you just... Yeah. Which one? The the makeup remover? No, the mask. Oh, this, my mask? The turmeric one? Yeah. Turmeric. There's honey. There is chickpea flour, lemon, almond oil. Oh, for goodness sake. I will share the recipe with you. Okay. Um, Everything I show you, I'm sharing the recipe. And, and tell me what's in mine. Yours is cane sugar, yeah. raw organic cane sugar, lemon juice, a little bit of full fat yogurt. It's just so attractive. Yeah. And what else did I put in there? I think that's it. Can I put it near my eyes? Don't go right underneath your eye. Okay. Well, I mean, you probably could because you've done these pills before, but if people are starting with this, that's the first thing, then I wouldn't. Okay, so I'm quite sticky. That's good. And I feel that if my daughter was to come in now, she'd lick my face your, and be happy. And my dog, your dog would, would just you. be on my face all the time. Here we go. Um, is it going to dry a bit, this? Um, my it, one? It Ooh, probably will a little bit. But see, the thing is, what's it gonna, what it's going to do now mm -hmm. is just a little bit there. That's okay. But... I think, does Danielle have a book? Uh, Danielle, I think, probably. should have a book very soon. She might be I writing I have a children's one. book coming out next year, actually. How much do we love Danielle? Danielle... We know you have I a book love in you, you. Um, and we're very excited that we can kind of, you know, meet you early on before you're too famous with all your knowledge um, and won't come into you're my too bathroom. kind. Of course, but, I will um, always come into this bathroom, Trini. But I think Sorry. what I really like is the common senseness. So can we just, whilst we're waiting yes. for these masks dry, how many ladies are interested in sort of leaky gut stuff? Because I, I find it quite a fascinating topic. It is and fascinating. And if we feel some people would like to... Ask questions. Ask questions on it. Because I have literally been so thin and so unwell, I actually had osteoporosis. Yeah, I had the bones it. of an 80 year old. Okay. I broke my pelvis a week before my wedding. So I've come from absolutely nothing and I just want to help people. If anyone's got any problems, I can give you, oh, it's always from my perspective. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but I can tell you I have, you know, absolute honors in my own body and I can tell you my experience and maybe you can learn from that and go from there. Great. Trina, can I yeah, okay. okay. I'm very into, I'll tell you what I'm interested in. Can yep. I just speak from my own experience? Yeah. Is that I bloat quite quickly mm -hmm. and I sometimes eat certain foods and I did go to my doctor and say, I feel it's coming out somewhere inside right. my tummy. That mm -hmm. was the only way I described yeah. it. And then I had a colonoscopy. Right. And they said, oh, nothing there. And sent me on my way. Mm -hmm. But I do, I do feel my tummy has a kind of, you know, if, if I'm very stressed, okay, I'm not stressed. Let's yeah. be honest, that, that does lead to it. But tell me more well, about why this know, could all be happening. So the stress thing is like the key. Because I, for 13 years, I, w I haven't always been a natural food chef. I completely changed my life when I woke up and was told I almost died and became a natural food So before then I had many jobs where I was an overachiever, way too much stress, and I really was not good at taking care of myself. Okay. I did a thousand things an hour. I can imagine you do, like... Well, I sort of thrive on it. I mean, I, I know, no, I know it's but torturous. You think you do. Yeah. And you think you, you might think you yeah. do too, but I promise you it's a hormone called cortisol. Yeah. And it, it, it basically tires out our adrenal glands yeah. that sit on top of our kidney. Mm -hmm. Our kidney gets affected by it, and it's it basically can break down from there. And what's interesting is the stress feeds directly into the gut. It can affect the gut, the gut lining. So you may not begin with some food intolerance or something that you've eaten or you may eat so well but you may not be able to cope with stress well or you may think that you don't sleep well but it's okay you do everything else fine so you gotta look at stress because mental I've got a yeah this, yeah the gut this is amazing ladies the gut is connected with our emotional self our brain our mental health it is our second brain our gut is and this is like new information we've I think found out in the last five years our brain that's the most important brain with our emotions and everything is residing in our gut. So if we've got problems in our gut, we're going to have problems mentally. I'm, that means I must you. have huge mental problems. No. I do that anyway. No, I don't mean that. It's just no, that but stress. I, but it's so, it makes so much sense what you're saying. And I'm sure there's ladies out there who yeah. are feeling 
Why is it there? So what can we do? What, can, why, no, what can we do? Because so many. you know, there are so many things, but I think we want to start with the smallest thing that's easy for anyone out there to yeah. do and, and lead in. Well, look, I'm just going to give you this piece of advice, and I really wish someone had given me this advice back in, God, 2012 when I started to get really sick. And it is to go and have your poo tested. Go and have your poo tested. And it is better to do it through a holistic doctor because okay. modern doctors, so you might go to your doctor and they might say, oh, low battery. Okay, all right. No, they so they won't say that. Yeah, okay. um, sorry, we just had low battery. Yeah, we're going to have about another eight minutes. So I'll be really, really quick. So basically go and have your poop tested because having it tested and a holistic doctor will be able to tell you what that means. You will know what gut bacteria you have in your body, yep. the good and the bad. Because a lot of us have some things residing in our gut we don't know about and that's usually why we get a bit of bloating or it affects, you know, we're feeling down and sluggish. Yep. And ugh. Usually it's like a food intolerance or it's stress or it's something in there in our gut. The yep. bacteria is not right. The bacteria level is not great. So in terms of a small change, so I know that that takes time. You're gonna book the doctor, you gotta yeah. do the poop test, you gotta get over that, ladies, mm -hmm. get over it, because it's amazing. The small changes you can you can make are just factoring in more things like water, mm -hmm. because that helps everything move through our system. Yeah, adding things solution. like yeah. yeah, adding things like uh, you don't have to go crazy about this, but some chia seeds or some flax seeds to your porridge, making a better food choice. So flipping over the back of whatever you have that's packaged, yeah. taking a look at the ingredients, because the first thing you see after ingredients is the, the thing that's in there the most. Okay. So I just yes, because they're highest. The, 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 the highest ingredients are listed top, because yes. that's a legal requirement. So yes. it's something also that um, Caroline Heron says, and lots mm -hmm. of other good experts in beauty, is yes. after the first two lines, you'll know what's in it. Totally, yeah. and that's yeah. pretty shocking mm. when you do that. And just, I don't know, just start making more real food choices. You don't have to go raw. You don't have to be a vegan. You don't have to do paleo. You don't have to spend loads of money. Trust me, I am not someone that has loads of money to spend on the latest fad. And I really was at rock bottom and I did it. If I can do it, like I'm a flesh and blood human <laughs> being. Like it's so, it's yeah. so exciting to me. And look how well me. she looks, especially that mask. And you how can do long, it. How long should this stay on? Oh, we can take it off now. We can. We're going to yep. take it off now because I'm just so worried about the battery and I'm sure you have many more questions, ladies, yeah. but I'm going to give you, so far away with questions, yes, whilst we're taking off. asking, what would you recommend for an underactive thyroid and weight loss? What, say that again? Sorry, say that again. Underactive thyroid and weight oh, loss. Oh, yeah. Thyroid is a tough one. So Tell thyroid us. is so individual. I had some thyroid issues as well. Um, but I would say, and it comes back to finding a really, really good holistic doctor that you can work with because even with food, there's this word that I think we're going to learn more and more about. It's called bio-individuality. What works for me doesn't, work. doesn't necessarily work for you. What works for you doesn't necessarily. So, you know, it's really important to get a baseline look at where you are at, where your vitamin levels are at, and your thyroid can be tested, but in relation to all your other organs. Yes, because okay, so a normal medical thyroid test is different slightly from the test you're talking about. Yes. Can we go back a step? Yep. which is how do you find the bloody doctor and, and how do you know which is a good one? Well, there's really, really good ones everywhere. You just got to talk to people or like, I mean, I found my holistic doctor on Google. Oh, you got a bit more there. Let Thank me do you. Let me do. You found him on Google. Like I Googled holistic, okay. hippie holistic doctor. I found a really, really good one that um, I actually have some really good friends that are some of the most amazing doctors. If everyone, I mean, if you have, obviously you've got Facebook, there's a great doctor in the US that I know um, would be, quite helpful to go through because he also has contacts here in could London. Could we then, could you list, what we'll yes. do when we do the post ladies is we'll list um, Daniel's yeah, choice of doctors, perhaps maybe in Australia, England and America. I can give you a little list, but okay. trust me, like when you start talking about this, you'll find like, and also you can actually, you know, Google things like holistic doctor and microbiome. It, microbiome is your gut essentially. Okay. So you want to find okay, someone that you. actually knows more about the gut. See how it hasn't stained my face? No, it hasn't stained your face. Thank Isn't God. Yeah. Sarah's asking, what's your view on probiotic supplements? Yeah, probiotics, I definitely think that there's a time and a place for probiotics, but I also think they're overhyped and I think they're extremely expensive. And I think a lot of the time you can buy probiotics that have way too much bacteria that you actually don't need, which comes back to get your gut tested because okay. you know exactly which probiotics you're missing. Test. And what I ate just now, which will you'll leave the recipe for, was a natural probiotic and it was, I have yeah. bought, delicious. Can we it go on amazing. now? Yes. I feel what I'd love to do now with you, because yes. I don't know how long it will last, 
is the, uh, I feel my skin is really, I, can I just say, my skin, no makeup or anything, it feels, it feels a little bit tighter, yeah. but not dry. Yes. And I feel, I've had a really difficult two weeks with my skin and mm -hmm. I feel I feel really well looking in the mirror. Yeah. So she I love good. that mask. She looks love good. It. Love it. Well, um, so what's in her goodie okay. bag? She's got two more things in her goodie bag. I'm so excited to so see. I've got a couple of things. Okay. So what I like to do after a face mask is put some oils, some healthy oils back in. Okay. Even though I've had some oils, I've just wiped it off. All right. So this one is like a little face oil, which I've mixed together. Yep. This has red raspberry seed, so it's a natural SPF. Because yep. after a glycolic or an acid peel, ladies, as Trini says, you've got to put on an SPF. Yep. Yep. For me, SPFs are a bit tricky because you want one that has zinc oxide in it, but you don't, you want to you go for non-nano particles because you don't want to be ingesting that stuff because it's a little bit dangerous. Okay. All so right. there's a lot so, of sunscreen. So, so these all have SPF in them. That's a straight oil. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try a bit of each. So this oil. So try that because that's actually very hydrating. So this oil is with the raspberry. What natural SPF am I gonna get? Well, uh, like 15%? In that little, yeah, maybe? probably. I think it's like, it depends on the dilution. So in that, my dilute, and you can look all this up, this is like I'm, and I'm prefacing this because I'm not a scientist, yeah. but in that there's probably about 10 okay. SPF. So this is like a winter SPF it's moment, a light it's not SPF, a sun. Yeah. yeah, and I would probably put the this on and then your normal um, SPF. Or you know how some SPFs are in your makeup. Yeah. My SPF comes from, this is kind of what I do. Can I just say, that went on beautifully. What was the base oil? The jojoba. Jojoba, it's, it's jojoba this is lovely. Bit of shade, we'll, leave, bit of we'll leave the thing for that. Carrot seed oil too. This is exciting. These are natural SPFs as well. So this is like beeswax, organic beeswax, which you can use if you're vegan, you can use candelia wax. There's jojoba, there's even cacao, there's actual chocolate in this one. There's so what's the difference between these two? Well, just the color. I've been playing with, I found a company which is amazing. They do these little, um, natural colorings so it's just for me that's exciting because Seriously, i never know you're gonna make cosmetic you'll make it you're gonna make makeup i now. know i'm gonna i think i'm gonna my have to God. because i've colored so there's shimmer in that one try that okay, one let me try this one i'm gonna try this on one side of my face and this is gonna oh, give me you. spf what well this one is about 20 to 25 because that's got carrot seed on now look at that it looks dark right but then yeah. You rub it in, and also with this, sometimes I ma I massage this in with my um, normal foundation. Yeah, okay. So you can play with the colors, but this company, which I'll share the link, they have all these amazing shimmers and. This is so hydrating. So it's cool. very unusual because a lot of ladies ask me about an SPF which is moisturizing, and this is so hydrating, ladies. Yeah. And I like the little shimmer it has. Can I? Can we swap now? Yeah, of course we can. Do, you want uh, do I want charger? How are we doing on battery? I can't see my all my batteries. I'm oh, gonna have to six percent. Six percent. All right, ladies, we're gonna finish soon. Um, this one I'm putting on. Let me just put on here a bit too. You can too. see there's like a little bit of a shimmer. Oh my god, this can make me really tan. Yeah, see, and you can mix it. In. You can either do that straight. Well, sometimes you know you go shopping. You're like, I oh cannot be bothered putting makeup on today. So that's fantastic. She approves. I really. I mean, it's fantastic because it's. God, it's amazing. Her. It's like a gold star having Trini get it, excited No, but it about. really is amazing. And I know that Lily, my dog, would also like to lick me at yeah. this stage. because And she could, very safely. Very safely. <laughs> um, well, this is SPF 20. Yeah, and okay. this one's about 20 to 25. Okay. So I added, and you'll get this in the recipe, but all of these things I bought online, there's some great companies that you can buy from, which I will share with you. And it's so easy. You get it in the mail, you mix it up, you have a little science experiment in your kitchen. It's not messy, I promise. And it's just so easy. Just whack it in. That is like just it. fantastic. Can I just say a couple of things? I just want to say you're so joyous to share all your knowledge Aww. with us. And um, all Thank of you. this must be taken that you, you know, just to be a kind of thing that this is your opinion yes, on totally. things. Um, I, I love your opinion. That's my personal feeling. But um, yes. there are many many people who have different views than you yes um but i think that you are a shining example sorry about the pun <laughs> uh, about about doing the right thing and i kind of really want to try you've given me the inspiration tomorrow Good. i am going to well tomorrow i'm going to see my daughter in france when i get back on monday i'm going to make those balls i'm going to buy that juice and i'm going to start a little bit of the journey Good. well i've left some kombucha for you in the fridge exciting <laughs> Thank you so Thanks. much. Mwah. Mm. Mwah. All right. Thanks, and ladies. We'll post it up tomorrow. Yes. Danielle's very sweetly going to go home tonight and, and type up the recipes for us and send them. And then Chloe will put, put it up tomorrow with Victoria. So bye-bye, ladies. Bye. bye.